Yo, welcome back to Urban Street 420. I'm your host, 40. So we are going to try to make a video, even though the assholes next door, <laughs> they're remodeling one of the apartments and making noise. I don't know, it sounds like a dildo that's going out, like non-stop, yo. Anyway, what are we doing today? We are making infused bacon wrap scallops. What? I can't wait to eat these things, yo. Come on over here and let's get started. All right, so we're closer and let's get started. So. I've got some sea scallops right here, right? You wanna make sure you use sea scallops. Bay scallops are typically the smaller ones, and yeah, it's just gonna taste better with um, sea scallops. Next, you're gonna wanna have some bacon. I've already pre-cooked this bacon. This stuff is pretty thick here, huh? Now, you don't have to get uh, as thick as this. I got it from the butcher. You could get thinner bacon. I just think it tastes a little bit better with thicker bacon. Obviously, you wanna make sure it's still pliable. You see how I can bend this? It's not breaking. Don't make the uh, bacon crispy or it's not gonna work, right? I figure we save a little time. I cooked that beforehand, right? Let's go ahead and make the sauce that we are gonna base these puppies in, right? So right here, I have 60 mil uh, grams or two tablespoons of melted butter, right? Inside the melted butter, I have one minced garlic clove that I already put in there. Next, we're gonna take two tablespoons or 60 grams of uh, coconut sugar, right? Or brown sugar, your choice. This is coconut sugar. You can use brown sugar or coconut sugar. Next, we're gonna take a pinch of fresh cracked pepper. We'll call it six turns or something like that. We're gonna take a pinch of salt, right? A nice healthy pinch of salt and we are gonna mix this up this is what we're going to use and by the way infused butter or not infused butter your choice but this is where you're going to you're going to add if you want to make this infused this is going to be infused butter right now how strong is your uh, is it gonna be well 60 grams how strong is your butter right your butter may be stronger or weaker than mine keep that in mind right so we're, we have this puppy ready. We're not gonna do anything with it right now. We just have it ready. Next, we wanna go ahead and prepare a, either, I don't have cast iron, right? But if you had cast iron, that might work better because the more evenly heat distributes. I've got a, a cheap induction stove top and this pan, it is what it is, baby. I'm just saying, if you had, you could use, right? So we're gonna turn this on to medium, medium high, or medium, medium low heat. We don't want it too hot, right? We want to go ahead and get these scallops ready. I've got some skewers right here. So what we're going to do is open this up and we want to see if the, the knuckle, this thing, right, is on there. If it is, just go ahead and take it off. This doesn't taste very uh, as nice, so you can remove it and we can eat without this piece. You'll see that it's kind of like, it's just this like little, ex I don't remember what it's called, huh? It's called the... I don't know, I'll put it in the video, I'll look it up, I forget. But you'll look around and it's just this little piece on the side that's uh, protruding. We're just gonna peel that off, we're gonna put it to the side and we're not going to cook it, right? Now, uh, if you left it on there, it might be just a little bit tougher and yeah, so this one, it looks like it doesn't have it on there. So we don't have to worry about removing it. This one, I can see it's on there and we just take it off like so. Now that we have that stuff removed, we're gonna go ahead and take one bacon per scallop, like so, and we're going to wrap it around the scallop. Now, obviously, if you've used base scallops, this would not work because <laughs> base scallops are too tiny, baby. So, I should have probably taken these out of the pack already. I did not. <laughs> so, we're gonna need five of these. And I took out six because I'm bonus, baby. I'm extra. <laughs> Now here, uh, this is clearly a massive piece of bacon. What we want to do is we want to go through two of the uh, two of the sides of the bacon, right? And in fact, if we could even wrap this around, maybe we could go like this and then get it through twice. So what I have it doing right now is it went through the scallop, it went through the bacon on both sides, and we're going to leave it like so. We can break off a piece of this. This is just so it has more room in the pan, no biggie. We'll put that off to the side and let's rinse and repeat. I'll stop talking, I'll speed this up in post uh, when I have all of them done, huh? Okay. 
All right, boom. So we just got these puppies wrapped. They're ready to rock. Let me show you a little bit closer. You can see I have the skewer going through both uh, parts of the end, except for this one that's undone. So that's why it's important to get it through both, uh, both the end and the start of the bacon. And then just put it all the way through, right? There we go. That should be all right. All right, so we've got the pan heating up. You're gonna wanna use a high smoke point oil or if you have ghee, you can use ghee. So I have some ghee right here. Let's open this up. If I can get a grip, get a grip, yo. <laughs> anyway, so we're gonna take this spoon here. We are going to put some ghee in the pan and ghee has a very high smoke point. I think 400 and something degrees Fahrenheit. So you can use that. If you don't have ghee, do not use regular butter unless you clarify it because that will burn and we don't want to burn these bad boys, right? Of course, using ghee right here is gonna add a little bit of extra flavor for the scallops. And we love flavor, baby. God, I'm so hungry. I can't wait to eat these things. All right, so this is going. We have a little brush here because what we're going to do is brush this little concoction that we made on the scallops as they're cooking, right? And what we're going to do is we're gonna cook them on uh, medium to uh, medium low heat for three to four minutes per side. You're gonna to wanna to know the temperature of the scallops. So I have a little thermometer right here at 130 degrees Fahrenheit. They will be ready, so we will be checking them, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and put these puppies in here. You can hear that sizzle starting. Remember, the bacon's already cooked, right? So, boom. Now, I'm gonna look for my phone. I just found it. We're gonna look, we're gonna say in three to four minutes, we will know that it's ready to flip to the other side. In the last two minutes of cooking, what we're going to do is we're gonna brush on our beautiful uh, coconut sugar, uh, the infused butter, garlic, salt and pepper concoction, baby. And uh, that way, in the last two minutes, we're not gonna heat up the THC too much, so it shouldn't be an issue, and it's gonna be beautiful, right? By the way, leaving this uncovered is totally fine. We don't wanna cover it. In fact, we probably don't even wanna move it once it gets going because the, we don't want the scallops, like as they're cooking, they need to start to sear so that you can move it without them sticking, etc. But again, we're using ghee, it's got a high smoke point. This puppy should be able to cook no problem. And yeah, I'm gonna speed this part up to when we flip it over. All right, so it's been four minutes. Let's go ahead and check the temperature real quick to see what we're looking like. For example, in the middle of the scallop, we are at 90, 114, 110, somewhere around there. So that's no problem. Let's go ahead and wipe it on this, put that down, move that over. We're gonna flip these. Uh, I'm gonna attempt to do it by hand. Be careful, huh? Or maybe a smarter move would be to get a fork, right? <laughs> All right, so we're gonna flip these puppies over and you can see that it's slowly starting to brown right there. Maybe it could go a bit longer on that side, but I, th you know what? We're probably gonna be okay. So again, flipping these puppies over. All right, I turned it up just a hair. Let's look, go ahead and look at the timer. And it looks like, all right. So another four minutes, we should get to the right temperature. One of the dangers, by the way, is scallops are easily overcooked. One of the good things about sea scallops is sea scallops are harder to overcook, huh? Uh, whereas bay scallops are tiny, you gotta get your timing perfect, etc. These are a little bit more forgiving. Something to keep in mind, huh? All right, so we're more or less two minutes in, right? Uh, let's go ahead and mix this up. You have the option, right, of only putting this on one side or both sides, etc. Now, I was gonna brush it on with this puppy right here, but I think, you know what, I might be a bit more generous if I, um, well, I don't know, let's brush it on, actually. Let's go with our first thought, right? All right, so we could do this just on one side or we could do this on both sides. If we do it on both sides, we'll end up cooking it for one more minute. Putting this on there, there we go. Put this here, put that there. 
obviously whatever is left over you want to add to something because this is some delicious can of butter we don't want to let it go to waste and at the same time we also don't want to overdo these we don't want to have them too drenched or too wet or whatever so i think this is looking really good right here get a little bit more of that coconut sugar on the thing there we go there we go there we go there we go all right so we're gonna give this two more minutes. We're gonna flip it over and lightly put a little bit on the other side. All right, I checked the temperature. They are of temperature. We don't wanna overcook them, so I'm gonna flip them now just so I can hit the other side with a little bit of this buttery concoction. Some of, <laughs> some of these are not staying together, baby. Uh, clearly, if I had used a different skewer, and maybe, you know what, I've made this before, but not with thick bacon. I got thick bacon this time thinking, I'm going to be fancy, yo, <laughs> and uh, I should probably have just used regular bacon. Uh, because some of these, it's not reaching the scallop to the skillet, which is fine, it's still cooked, huh? But, um, but yeah, so just going to put this, give it a second or two to heat up with the lid on, and then we're gonna call it a day. This puppy's gonna be ready, and we're gonna plate it. All right, that was very quick. Let's go ahead and take these puppies off. Oh, they smell delicious, huh? Absolutely delicious. Oh, I can't wait to eat these puppies. I wanna lick the pan. I mean, the pan looks delicious too, to be honest. <laughs> oh. I've never made these infused before, only non-infused. However, uh, I'm imagining that these are still gonna be pretty amazingly delicious. Now, how are we gonna dress them? Let me go ahead and turn this off real quick. We're gonna take some parsley. I probably cleaned the plate, you know, if this was a restaurant, but I'm gonna put it in my hand first so I have a little bit more control. And we're just gonna put a little bit of parsley here, here, here. Now, if you were serving this to uh, a party, for example, or friends, or you're trying to impress a girlfriend or boyfriend, et cetera, you definitely would take a paper towel, right? <laughs> My brain froze for a second. And you'd clean up the plate, right? Get rid of those drips, some, like so, right? We don't have to be too perfect, but something like this. And now, when you're done doing that, I'm gonna throw it in the sink real quick, I'll clean it up later. We are going to take a lemon wedge and if you were serving it to someone, you just put the lemon wedge on the plate, maybe one, two, three, four. In fact, just for a photo, let's go ahead like so. We'll put these all the lemon wedges, which is, this is lemon wedges from one lemon, and it would be like this. I'm gonna go ahead and stop the camera, I'll move it back, we'll give it a try, I'll see you guys in a second. Yo, so we're back, I've got it plated, we did a quick little semi cleanup. Look at these puppies, right? I can't wait to eat one. We're gonna take the lemon, we're gonna squeeze some lemon on one of these bad boys. Let's do this one right here. And then, uh, obviously in a restaurant, you'd probably use a fork and knife. <laughs> we're not doing that, it's my house, yo. Uh, ready? Mm. <laughs> mm. Oh my God, this is so good. I'm gonna be a pig and I'm gonna finish this one, huh? Mmm, mmm, mmm! This is almost sexual, huh? Oh, it is so good. <laughs> Oh, I can't begin to tell you how delicious this is. Um, I have no idea if I'm gonna get high from this or not. However, it is so freaking good, I recommend it. Now, of course, if you made this as part of a bigger infused meal, then even if this doesn't have that many milligrams, because some of the butter is coming out, but, be smart, right? If you make this, you grab a piece of bread, soak up the butter, eat the bread with this, even in here, right? People can dip. Anyways, whoa, let me get one more napkin. I'm sure I'm sweating. I need to like turn on the AC or something for future videos. Summer is coming, baby. Anyways, guys, I hope you like this video. If you did, please like, share, subscribe. 
It would mean the world to me. Until next time, I'm out.